It's 90.3 KEXP, streaming all over the world at kexp.org. It's the Midday Show, and my name is Troy Nelson. Very glad to be with all of you today because we have an artist here we have just been loving here at KEXP. So I bring to you Wise Blood. Seven words I 
Listening to Wise Blood live here on 90.3 KEXP and all over the world at KEXP.org. Beautiful stuff. Thank you so much for taking time out to stop by KEXP today. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. And so we have Natalie, Shags, Walt, and Booker. That is the band today. And uh, how did you all get together? Did you guys all meet up in New York? or? I met Booker on tour, and he played drums on the record. And then I invited him to be in the band, and I met Shags and Walt in Los Angeles. Very cool. Uh, Booker's last name has uh, the instrument name in his last name. His last name is Star Drum, and you're on the drums. 
Is this a coincidence or is this a stage name? It's a, he's star drumming. <laughs> he's star drumming over and, here. And uh, he was born to do it. <laughs> he was definitely born That's to do it. That's what it comes down to. Well, you guys sound absolutely great. The new album is called Front Row Seat to Earth. And uh, you have worked with many, many people because uh, you have a wonderful voice. I'm sure people are like, hey, I want that voice on my album. So you've collaborated with Ariel Pink before. Mm-hmm. Uh, I heard you on the new uh, Drug Dealer album Mm -hmm. and uh, he goes by many different names he was just drug dealer this time this time for real this time I think that's what he really is right and this is what's gonna what's gonna stick Mm -hmm. and also you uh, have other activities that you enjoy doing I had seen an interview with you where you actually took a month and, and spent it in New Mexico to be like an apprentice for an herbalist or something? Yeah, wild crafting herbs. Is that what that is? So mm-hmm. What is that experience like? Because I'm not fami- super familiar with that. Um, finding medicinal herbs in great quantities because you n- usually need pounds of it. And then we would overnight it via UPS to a company actually based in Seattle that makes pharmaceutical grade tincture of plants. Mm-hmm. So it's like really high potency stuff. So it's got to be super fresh. Right. So you'd spend like six hours wandering around BLM land and like wilderness looking for the herb in great abundance because you don't want to just find one and take it you want that to grow so Mm -hmm. it takes a lot of searching and a lot of manual labor and um it's really beautiful to getting getting your hands in the dirt and yeah. just doing it all day. So. You learn a lot about plants. and You do. Yeah. And you learn a lot about the plants in terms of how they try to hide from human beings and, you know, their, Interesting. their whole, like, camouflage scene. It's almost its whole, a whole universe unto itself. Yeah, and they're hiding on purpose, for right. sure. Right. I would hide from us, to tell you the truth. Totally. <laughs> also, you did an artist residency in Baltimore, and I heard you speak that uh, Baltimore actually uh, has a really thriving artistic and music uh, scene. Mm-hmm. And I've heard a few artists artists out of Baltimore, but I'm also not that familiar with Baltimore. What can you tell people like myself that aren't as familiar with that city? Baltimore is a really culty city. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean like the occult, like people are really into weird spiritual stuff and experimental music and kind of put their all into what they do. And it's such a small, affordable place. It's really a good breeding ground for kind of artistic, progressive uh, movements, I guess. And um, the music scene there was particular, it still is particularly vibrant because of that, because artists can afford to live there and it's really mellow. Right. Yeah, it's very affordable. So there's lots of artists all sort of, I'm assuming, yeah. taking over buildings. And yeah, and there's no there's no social climbing. There's no place to go in Baltimore, but just be yourself. There's no um, nothing to prove, but uh, making good art. So. And you're in Queens now. No, I live in Los Angeles. Oh, you live in Los Angeles. Oh, you to, do move around a lot. Queens. You lived in Rockaway Beach for I a while. in Rockaway Beach. Yeah. And now you're in Los Angeles. Yeah. And do you like it there, the sunshine? Oh, yeah. I was born there, so it's, it's my, um, my destiny. Gotcha. To come back. Fantastic. Well, uh, very glad you are here with us today once again. The new album is called Front Row Seat to Earth, and I know that myself and the listeners would love to hear a couple more. Cool. We'll play some more for you. Sounds good. It's Wise Blood here on 90.3 KEXP Seattle. I might not need to 
stay on the sinking ship for long. I can give it away every day. I can fly and spend all my seconds like they're my last. It's not the past that scares me.
That is Wise Blood live here on 90.3 KEXP. Thank you for bringing this majestic music to KEXP. We really appreciate it. Thank you for bringing us into this majestic space. You do like our new lights that are surrounding So us. magical. <laughs> so magical. And uh, you guys really are. Playing the sunset tonight, I uh, highly encourage you to go out and see Wise Blood. The new album is called Front Row Seat to Earth. And uh, please come back sometime soon. Thanks for having us. That was Wise Blood live here on KEXP Seattle. And we're clear. We did it! Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.